Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 256. Power Pages Security versus Dataverse Security Roles. In our last tip, I talked about how Dataverse uses system users to represent users, and Power Pages uses contacts. In this tip, I'm going to look at how both Dataverse and Power Pages uses roles to assign permissions to a user. In Dataverse, a security role is used to define a whole host of different types of permissions. Some are specific application permissions, but most are permissions surrounding what a user with this role can do to each table, like create, read, update, or delete. Once a security role is defined, it can be assigned to system users via the Power Platform Admin Center. System users can have many roles, and their access is a union of all of the permissions from all of their roles. In Power Pages, a web role is used to define a whole host of different types of permissions. This includes web page access control rules, table permissions, as well as permissions for some of the Dynamics 365 customer engagement templates. Web roles are created in the management app, and then permissions can be assigned to it in various places. There are two special web roles, Anonymous, which allows you to give permissions to those who haven't logged in yet, and Authenticated, which provides permissions to all authenticated contacts. Aside from these two special web roles, contacts need to be related with a web role to get its permissions. In our next tip, we'll look at how Dataverse's main permission model is based on row ownership and how Power Pages is based on relationships with contacts. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 256 on Power Pages security versus Dataverse security roles useful.